Tonight, in one of our occasional looks back at legislative history, we go back to the mid-1970s when Barron was president of the Senate and its undisputed boss. But he has nothing to do with the selection of the officers who run this Senate. And uh, if he starts fooling around with me, he ain't seen nothing yet. Barron was Senate president during the 1975 and 1976 sessions. One of his most ruthless displays of power came during the 1975 session. The Senate refused to confirm the governor's appointment of O.J. Keller as head of the Department of Health and Rehabilitative Services. The result was all-out war between Barron and Governor Reuben Askew. Before the dust settled, Barron's friend, Lou Brantley of Jacksonville, had overthrown Askew's ally, Senator Bob Saunders of Gainesville, as the next Senate president. I have not been involved in the lobbying of this president's race, but the governor of Florida last night, through his various lieutenants, way past midnight, was calling, threatening, threatening to take people's jobs, making terrible threats against the membership of this Senate, threatening to take one senator's son's job if they didn't go one way or the other in this Senate race. I take the strongest kind of exception to that. This is the Senate of Florida, and I'm proud of it. And I say, let the word go forth from this day forward in the, in the words of Jack Kennedy, that the governor of Florida will not run the Florida Senate and I urge him to stay the hell out of our business up here. I think this is the Senate of the state of Florida, not the Senate of the 10 soldiers of the governor. I'm not certain the governor knows anything about it. I am. Well, <laughs> well if he does, I agree with the president. He ought to get his nose out of the Senate's business. Uh, in regard to the remarks of yesterday, which I thought were inappropriate, intemperate, and uh, frankly, uh, disappointing. But I don't intend to let anyone, including Mr. Barron, intimidate me from doing anything that I think I must do for the people of Florida. That's why I was elected. When you get to the point in the, in the legislature, you know, to where you have absolute control over a whole legislative body, and if ever there was an area that cried out for reform, you know, in the efforts of the legislative branch to diffuse the executive authority, isn't it time now that the legislature reform itself? and start having a committee on committees so one person cannot call somebody up and say, okay, if you don't vote for me like I want you to do, you're going to lose your committee chairmanships. You're going to lose your legislation. And what that does, in effect, is that disenfranchises all the voters in that person's area. Hey, well, that's now, when you talk about arm twisting, <coughs> I've never seen more blatant arm twisting on behalf of anyone in my 17 years of government. 